This is a healthy peat swamp forest, and this is peat, a carbon storage. Peat consists of the remains of fallen trees, branches, leaves, and other plant matter that have been building up in waterlogged conditions for thousands of years, forming a peat dome. It rains a lot in the peat swamp forest. The forest cover and sponge-like nature of the peatland ensures that the peat remains saturated with water. These conditions bring the decomposition process to a halt. And so the carbon remains safely stored away. Until someone comes along with a saw, cuts down some trees and digs a trench to flush the timber out of the forest. Water that was previously trapped in the peatland starts to flow out of the ditch. For the first time, large amounts of sunlight enter the forest. The temperature goes up. The peat near the ditch dries out. Oxygen enters the peat and the peat begins to decompose. Solid carbon turns to carbon dioxide, traveling up and away. At this scale, the impacts are relatively small. The peatland forest will grow back and continue to trap vast amounts of carbon whilst providing important goods and services for local communities. It's when you go large scale that everything changes. Bulldozers and excavators cut through the forest. Large canals and trenches make way for timber transport and other products intended for planting in the future. Water flows out of the peatland. Sustained drainage causes the water table to go down. As a direct result, the peat dome starts to subside. The added elements of sunlight and oxygen cause the release of carbon dioxide. Seasonal peat fires further accelerate the process, sending vast amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. 